Hey, guys. You ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? <laughs> let the dogs out. You know, like, who let the dogs out? Who? Who? Who brought this guy along? What is up, guys? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Have you ever met somebody that just tries super hard to fit in? And regardless on anything that they do, they still cannot seem to fit in with any group. And this is what Tim Walsh reminds me of, an individual who just tries too freaking hard and he can't even fit into his own political party. The guy kicks around every time he gets on stage. Shout out to everybody watching. Drop your comments down below, smash the like button, and uh, let me know where you're watching this out of. So Donald Trump went to a Georgia and Bama game yesterday and the crowd absolutely erupted when Donald Trump was announced. <laughs> I got to tell you, this man, his resilience after two failed assassination attempts, this guy just jumps and goes in the crowds like nothing ever happened. And if this doesn't show the true resilience and determination to actually help this country out, this guy doesn't have to do this. And he is doing it anyways. And if that doesn't show how much he loves this country, I don't know what will. Meanwhile, they had to bus people in to wait for Tim Walsh on the tarmac. I've seen more people wait in line for a colonoscopy than I've seen wait in line to see Tim Waltz. consequential second of all walls is a buffoon i'm sorry this guy he's the only school teacher in america who brags that none of his students can get into an ivy league school he's had one consequential press interaction with our dana bash who asked him about the fabrications in his own resume and his answer was essentially you know me no understand words good i mean th th he's a buffoon Scott. he's he's on a he's on a, a free ride Scott. for running under harris he gets in college football the rival between georgia and bama is huge but here's the thing, fraternity brothers on both sides put their rivals aside to commend Mr. Donald Trump. Hello, I'm Toe Creech. I'm a Sigma Pi at the University of Alabama. And today I'm going to be committing my entire life to Kamala Trump 2024.
I'm Braden Arnold, Beta Theta Pi at the University of Alabama, and it's not an easy decision, but I will be voting for Donald J. Trump. <laughs> yeah! An OnlyFans model exposes the truth about Kamala Harris's campaign in which we already knew. Kamala Harris is bringing She's trying to get influencers. She's paying for influencers. She's paying people to come show up to her rallies and they still can't even get enough people to show up. And my nail tech, I've been going there for 15 years. So they're like family to me. Um, but they said that their one cousin is in South Philly. And listen to this. She is getting paid $700 a week to go to wherever Kamala's um, campaign tells them to go to. So it's $100 a day, $700 a week. And she's not even a citizen. She can't vote, but she wants that extra money. So that's what why she's doing it. So their campaign is getting a bunch of people. That's why you see these people on the side of the roads with, with signs or whatever, going to these protests. They get travel paid for and everything. And they're not even able to vote. So... <laughs> They're just standing there with signs for no fucking reason for $100 a day. I can't. I had to share with you guys. Females across the country are showing their support for Donald Trump representing MAGA gear and supporting the Republican Party and showing what it means to be an American. you saw her on CNN, but let me be very clear. I am an American woman. I am a MAGA woman, and I don't need a man standing next to me to get up and speak. So while Miss Harris is too busy trying not to giggle, in front of the American people. I am gonna get my hands dirty and help President Trump save this country. God bless you all. Guys, let me know what you think about Donald Trump showing up to a college football game and just representing and that overwhelming roar that he got. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you think about Tim Walsh getting booed, getting booed. Drop your comments down below, smash the like button, share, subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.